approximately 10 hours later. Everybody and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I know I did. Uh, today I'm actually going to be taking the Honda Accord over to the car wash to get it washed because, as you can see, the thing is very, very dirty, and it hasn't been washed for about three months. Yeah, I know. Go figure. I'm afraid to go through regular regular car washes now because of that scratch that I got earlier when I first got the car. And I actually noticed on this side that I have a scratch right here from it as well. And yeah, it got me on both sides that I would make car wash. So just for anybody out there, if you want to keep your car paint from being all scratched up and look like it's 10 years old in three years, don't take it through the car wash. Okay, so we're going to get a move on. We're going to go over the car wash. report on this car wash it's dropping soap or something onto my car when you're trying to wash a car it's pretty messed up and not to mention it's very very expensive for a little time I think it's a dollar a minute I don't know if that's the way it is where everybody else is but this one just opened up and so far I'm not impressed with it okay, so welcome back I went inside, got some lunch, I was pretty hungry, did some chores, came back out, and now I'm actually gonna go inside the car, clean everything out. And I also have my vacuum I bought a couple years ago. The hell is that? Must be some ice falling off the tree. But my vacuum I bought a couple years ago from Home Depot. Um, I actually saw this vacuum there and I was like, wow, that would be a really good car detailing vacuum. And it's funny because like, I guess nobody bought it because they were going out of, like they were going out of production on these things. This thing is awesome. It's like a little shop back. It's got a very good filter in it. Let me get this thing opened up. Plenty of wire. It's got a big shop back filter in it. And it just it really works well. It's very portable. It has a lot of power. And I, I, you know, I can't understand why this thing went on production. All right, so the first thing I want to do with this car is I want to clean all this junk up. All this junk. This stuff. My little media kit here. Nothing really in the back. But I did get something on the back seats, which I will be addressing with some interior cleaner. And I have a change of clothes over there. <laughs> I forgot I was over there. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and take everything out of here. Or hide it. So we don't have to uh, constantly move it. So yeah, I'm just gonna get to it and start cleaning up the interior on this car. Guess I'll put you guys on the tripod. Okay, so now the next thing I do 
go in the car, remove all of the floor mats. And depending on how severe they are and how much they need to be cleaned, I might just bring them out, give them a quick vacuum, throw them in. But I haven't done that with this car yet, and I've had this car for about nine months. Yeah, right around nine months, I believe, I've had this car. So it's about time that I go in there and I clean this. So there's two ways you can do it. You can either use, hopefully the sun's not in your eyes, you can either use high traffic foam after you vacuum it thoroughly. Um, you can also use, there's like some other ways you can do it. You can use like some uh, interior cleaner if you don't have anything else. You can use interior cleaner on it, wipe it down, and then just dab it off with some old microfiber towels. And that seems to do the trick. It gets the little hairs cleaned off and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and Take all the carpets out of the car. Get to move on. Uh, let's see, come on. Get, get. Why is it so hard to get off there? Come on. There must be dirt in there. Come on. Get in. That's what you call pain. That's why there's like a piece of dirt in there and it's clogging it up on me. Get out of there. Get. I'm gonna have to plug that vacuum and vacuum that thing out maybe. That's what I don't like about these Honda Honda turn things. There we go, finally let me have it. That was a pain. Okay, and you might be asking yourself, what's a scissors and rubber band for? Well, we'll be getting to that a little later in this video. We're gonna start using this, this vacuum um, to clean up all this junk that we have built up down in the corners and everything on this car. Now, you will want to be mindful if you care a lot about your car and every part of your car. If you have a collector's item car, expensive car, um, not to let stuff rub on the paint, even yourself, because you can scratch the paint with even the most minor little scuff like like that. But with this car, I already said, it's a daily driver, so I don't go too crazy with it. And that's another reason I got it in white, to make it so it shows less scratches. Pretty much all I have left to do is clean the seats, wipe down everything with a microfiber towel, clean the dash, or clean up the steering wheel, clean up the coffee stuff down there, because I have coffee. So yeah, we'll get kicking on that, finish this up. Yeah. Alright, so the, the product I'm going to be using here is actually uh, Meguiar's Quick Interior, Interior Detailer Cleaner. And this stuff, I, I've had really good luck with this stuff. It um, cleans the surfaces very well and doesn't leave a residue. Uh, doesn't have any unpleasant smells that last over maybe like 10 minutes in the car. And it's just a really, really good product to use. Um, and I, I have pretty much just stuck with this for the past couple of years and have been very happy with the results. And everybody that I've actually detailed their cars for have been very happy with, with the results as well. And uh, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description for this product if you guys want to order it on Amazon. Um, it is an affiliate link, so I will be making a small percentage off of each sale. So if you want to help the channel out and you want to purchase from there, that'd be great. And I'd really appreciate it. We're just using some um, old microfiber towels that I cleaned up. You know, I, I usually do exteriors with new towels. 
And after I use them a couple times in the exterior, they start looking a little dirty. I'll switch them to interior tiles, and then eventually I'll toss them. Um, you're better better off being safe than sorry when it comes to microfiber tiles because they can hold a lot of dirt and a lot of stuff. Like if you ever gotten a leaf in one of them, it's pretty much done after that. And on a note, I don't spray directly on surfaces because it has a tendency to saturate the surface too much. Now you see with the seats, they have perforations. And if you go in there and flood the seats with cleaner, it's going to leave it kind of wet and spongy. So I try to do that unless I absolutely must. Um, if you spill something in there, you might have to do that. But if you're just doing normal cleaning, I'd, I'd suggest not doing that. It's not worth it. So we get the dash. Usually the dash, you don't need any quick detailer on. I just felt like using it so I'd have a little better grab for dirt up there. Now keep in mind, you don't have to press hard with this stuff unless there's a stain you're trying to remove. Just basically hit everything that you want to clean. Basically just dust on the dash in this car. Just want to hit everything, wipe it down. So you don't have to look at dust anymore. It's always a pain getting these air vents. I know there are little pools out there that work well for air vents, but I've never been a fan of spending money on them. They're going to get dirty pretty quickly. You know, unless it's a customer's car, then you want to go ahead and take care of that. That's pretty cool since we're on that list. A lot of times when you see your steering wheel start getting real greasy looking, it's actually a buildup of oils from your skin that can be removed. Um, now that polished look that comes after a while, that's the leather just wearing. And that's, you know, that's what happens. Sometimes people get steering wheel covers, but I think they look like garbage. If you're gonna do it right, just, just have somebody um, put a new leather wrap on your steering wheel. Unless it's, you know, a really cheap car, in which case there's little other things that are cheap and, you know, dumping a bunch of money into something you're never going to get back. But then again, a lot of cars are money pits anyway, so basically just have to do it for the pure joy of it if you enjoy cars. Except for this. Use my leg just to give us a good view. So there's a little... Alright, well, the steering wheel looks pretty good. Wiped it down, it's not too bad. And uh, I got to do the center cock, so that's pretty bad. I should have vacuumed that in there. Damn it. Well, I'll have to get a microfiber towel and get that stuff out. down on this thing. Then we'll hit with some quick detailer. Every once in a while I'll hit this thing outside to get rid of some of the heavy dust. In this area I might have to spray like this because you know it is plastic and should be fine um, just because of all the coffee stains on it. They're not really stains it's just gunk left there from coffee. And you know what's cool about this car is I actually know how to take it apart, and it is my car. And sometimes even on customers' cars, if I know I can take apart something without breaking it, I will just to get that extra little crack of dust in there. And sometimes, you know, they'll spill coffee in those little cracks, and the only way you can really get the smell out of the car is by actually taking it apart and going in there and cleaning out each individual area. Um, so let's take for example. My, uh, my old GT500, I had some coffee in it, went around the corner a little fast, and it spilled all over the place. It was horrible. And no matter how much I wiped down the exterior, I'd always get smell. So I said, okay, I'm going to have to take some time out of my day and take the whole center console out and pretty much wipe it all down, take it all apart, take the LED lights out of it, everything. Wipe it down, rinse it off power wash it and I did get that smell out. It took a lot of work 
but you know you can get those smells out you just gotta find them and you know they're not really stuck in your car forever and like some people think you know they're always stuck in there. Now carpets, that's a different deal. It's a little harder to get that carpet, obviously. Seems like they have pretty soft plastic in this car. Yeah, that was just from feet getting out. So here's the uh, vacuum I was talking about, uh, wet vacuum for the uh, carpet essentially, and it should clean all this stuff up very nicely. found it useful please subscribe and hit the like button also if you have any questions um, I'll answer your questions down below if you have any questions give me a comment as well all right have a great day everybody thanks for watching bye